So 2024 has been a very busy and interesting year for flight simulation. Lots of hardware manufacturers have come on the market this year, and a lot of them are bringing a lot of Airbus peripherals, Airbus hardware to market. And the latest on the block is Wingflex. Wingflex has came out with the A320 FCU Cube. Uh, it is an FCU for Airbus, as you could tell. And uh, we're gonna take a look at it today, see what it offers. I'll tell you right up front, the price of it is gonna be $149 as listed on their website. So let's take a look and see what it comes with, what it offers, and what's different, good, or bad about this thing. So right off the bat, it says it's an high performance uh, FCU. It's got backlight adjustment. It's got plug and play ability. There's a stand including inside. Uh, you can fly anywhere with this cube. You have firmware updates that are gonna be online and it's all aluminum or aluminum components inside. But let's open up this box and take a look and see what it looks like and how the packaging is for the FCU. This FCU comes packed smartly in a little compact box. Uh, very clean inside. Let's go ahead and grab the cushions and right away you're introduced to the uh, Wingflex 320 quick installation guide. We're gonna maybe not read this thing, <laughs> but go ahead and jump on the computer and see what it's all about. I'm more interested in the software setup of this thing, but it does come with stands, comes with screws, and uh, you could see the installation of it. But right away I noticed that there's gonna be a little party piece that comes along with this uh, FCU. Let's get it out the box here. And uh, right off the bat, the, looking at the back of this thing, it's got a USB 3.0, which is good. But let's look at what we actually like about it. Here's the front of the FCU panel. Really nice. Uh, but what strikes me right off the bat is the size of it. Uh, as you know, there are competitors on the market that has a full-size FCU with EFIS. And this one looks like it's gonna be a mini size FCU, uh, similar to the mini cockpit FCU that's out there right now. But if you do notice, there are knobs at the bottom. And uh, I'm gonna tell you right away, I think these knobs are for the lighting adjustments that's similar to what's on the Airbus, real Airbus airplane itself. But it's very small. I mean, actually not very small, but it's smaller than standard size. Let me grab the tape measure here real quick. And let's take a quick measurement of this thing. By my estimation here, or by the tape measure, it looks like it's about, for you guys in the US, uh, about seven and a quarter wide, uh, by a little bit over about two and a half inches high. And um, back to front, we're looking at about uh, four and a half inches back to front on that. So it is a smaller size FCU. So if you're one of those people who have um, desktop space that's limited, this might be the one for you. But let's go take a look at the stand and see what it looks like. What's also in the packaging is this box. And this box, I suppose, includes a couple of items that you can use for it. You have the stand, the feet that you put on, a USB cable, screws, and then you also get a screwdriver, which is good. Actually, it's an Allen key driver, not really a screwdriver, not a Phillips or a flathead. So that comes with the mini FCU, all these components here. We're gonna put this thing together real quick and see what it looks like on the stand itself on the desk. So there you have it. This is the Wingflex 320 FCU Cube. Now, the feel of the knobs, let's just say they do feel like quality knobs. On the click, it's got my new detents in here. You can hear it clicking over. Does not feel cheap at all. It does not feel cheap. Uh, they're very robust buttons. How is the push? Push feels good. Pull feels good. Push and pull feels good. So the knobs do feel nice and clicky. I like that. The button feels good. Autopilot button feels good with the click. 
But the question is, how easy or how hard is it to hook up to your computer and um, go simming with this thing? So let's go take it to the computer. Let's hook it up and see what she feels like. So now we're back at the computer and we're going to go to the website where you have all the software and the details about the FCU Cube. But we go to the support website here, the support link on the website itself. And we're going to be downloading the software that's necessary. I downloaded the Winkflex Bridge software is what I did. It's uh, actually a very small file. It didn't take more than a couple of minutes to download and allow it to access my computer. Not sure why it asked that. And then uh, once the download was completed, we were able to run that software. Uh, it does say it is from a unknown website or something like that, but I skipped that. Down, um, installed it on the computer and it will bring up the main Wingflex window. Very small window, says it's up to date, everything is good. And uh, all I had to do from here is go and fire up the Microsoft Flight Simulator or X-Plane and um, see if it connected automatically without any kind of issues at all. And let's go ahead and do it right now. Uh, load up Microsoft Flight Simulator and see what we got. And of course, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 took about uh, 100 minutes to load. Can't wait for 24. But once it loaded in, the software quickly recognized the sim and also recognized the Phoenix airplane that I loaded up in it to do my first testing. I want to see if there's any kind of configuration necessary for this to work or does it work right out of the box. And I was pleasantly surprised that as soon as I loaded up the Phoenix, um, it recognized it right away. And uh, let's go ahead and do a quick test and see if it responds to the knob and the altitude and lighting and so forth in the Phoenix aircraft. As usual, let's go cold and dark, start the airplane up and see if this FCU mimics exactly what it is to fire up an Airbus. And let's get the power up here and watch the lights flicker on the FCU and also in the uh, 3D cockpit here. And so far, it looks like a one-to-one -one match for me, uh, the way it works. Uh, let me just test the knobs out now and see if it's gonna respond. The lighting is responding already right away. Uh, we'll do some nighttime shots and see, and just do a good look at that here in a sec. But I have to say that the speed knob works properly. A little bit of slight delay, milliseconds maybe. The heading knob works good. The altitude knob works good on that. And also the V-speed knob uh, works good, uh, just like the airplane. Here's where you can tell how good these knobs are now. In the night shot here in the cockpit, really, really, really quick to just reach over and adjust the lighting without having to feel for it in the dark in the 3D cockpit like I normally do. Just go, buttons are there, adjusting it up and down. You can adjust the, um, the speed window and you can also adjust the ambient lighting. Maybe that's what it's called around the knobs on here. Works perfectly indeed. Let's go test out the autopilot and see what the autopilot looks like on this. Uh, no surprise, it does work in flight with the autopilot select button, the speed knob, the heading knob, all those things work flawlessly without an issue. Uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We have to go and test this in X-Plane now to see if it will work in X-Plane and if it also gets recognized like it did in Microsoft when we loaded up X-Plane. Let's take a look. So here's the window that's gonna be running in the background and I'm about to load X-Plane and now it recognizes X-Plane being loaded up in the sim. Let's see if it recognizes the tallest airplane that we're gonna select here. Yep, and just like that, it did recognize the TOLIS aircraft right there as it loaded into the sim. And so that also works out of the box, which is good with this uh, software that you have to load into it. And a um, couple of things I found out with the TOLIS aircraft and the FCU, as we fire it up, you see everything fires up on the uh, this uh, Wingflex FCU. However, the knobs work for the speed and the altitude and the V-speed and the heading select, but for some reason, the lighting did not work for me. I was like, hmm, what's going on? No lighting. So I decided, let me go do a firmware update because I didn't update it first. The firmware update is very simple to do. You unplug it, you hold down the VOR button, you plug it back in, the firmware page pops up, <laughs> literally took a few seconds to the update. It will reload itself back into the sim 
and here we go it's working again however still didn't get the lighting to work in the tolis in x plane for whatever reason i'll talk to the manufacturer about that and see if there's something i'm doing wrong or if that's just a functionality that's not going to be available right now with it but all in all i have to say at first i was a kind of a little bit disappointed that it was actually a mini size fcu but however i realized if you have a limited desktop space this is definitely going to be something that you want to consider for your simming purposes versus the other full-size ones that are on the market. But shout out to Wingflex for dropping this to us. We had a chance to review it. It does work. It's good. And uh, thank you, Wingflex, for sending it to us. We appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.